Hey guys, it's Zigzag here. So today we're going to be opening up a white theme booster. So um, last week I did my kind of review of the overall product um, without opening it. So we're going to see now what kind of cards I get, but um, not expecting great things. Um, so for those of you who don't no, the cards are actually down in this section. Um, if these are like the uh, Theros Beyond Death ones, then if you open the top, you're not going to be able to get to the cards. You're going to have to open the bottom, which, yeah. Or you could just tear the entire package apart. I like to try to keep stuff as like, neat as possible because like I'm sure it's becoming obvious now I do save like all of this stupid packaging so yeah uh, no security device oh and yeah if you look down in there they do have stuff so these were like this they fit in like that so yeah there is some cardboard blocking you from getting to them if you open the top. You have to open the bottom. Or like I said, destroy the entire package. It's your package, but anyways. Um, so this does come with, it looks like, uh, instruction cards. So the idea of these package packs is that you can just add 25 lands and have like kind of a basic crappy deck. Um, Yeah, it won't be a good deck. I mean, it should play technically, but it won't be like anything amazing. Um, anyways, so first up we have Dauntless Unity, which I have right there. Next up we have Relic Golem, an artifact. Also our first uncommon of the pack. So it wasn't until after I did the uh, looked at the uh, or it wasn't until I was editing the theme boxes video that I noticed you can't get any of the uh, flippable cards from these packs. Next up we have Meso Links. So any cards like uh, this where there's two sides to it, none of those cards can be obtained via the uh, theme packs. Um, Mesa Lynx is the first card we don't have already. Mesa Lynx, two mana, creature cat. 2-1. As long as it's not your turn, Mesa Lynx gets plus 0, plus 2. Its ferocity is tempered by patience, knowing it must wait for just the right moment to strike a killing blow. Yep. Next up we have Nahiri's Binding, which is right there. Oh yeah, speaking of which, I was going to do this. So, common cards are at the top, uncommon cards are in the middle, and the bottom is the cards we're going through. The I think the rare will be the last card in this pack, so. Uh, practice tactics. Also, if it wasn't plainly obvious, the uh, Uh, that you do get duplicates car duplicate cards in these pack. You can get duplicate commons and uncommons. There's obviously only one rare slot. Um, I have not gotten duplicate rares before, but yeah, it's not something that I would expect. But 
at the same time. Yeah. I wouldn't put it past them to... Or actually, I, I really wouldn't expect it, honestly. If Me kind of hedging my best is me just being, like, highly critical. But, yeah, realistically, it's not something that should happen. Ooh, so we got lucky, or lucky. So, Prowling Felidar, four mana, creature, cat, beast, two, three. Vigilance, whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, put a plus one, plus one counter on Prowling Felidar. So yeah, this is one of the um, issues that I have with these packs is that um, like when you do get duplicate when you do get duplicate uh, showcase cards in a pack it is just the exact same card like it's not like they um, give you a different one. Like they could have given McKinney Ox or Fearless Fledgling or something else, but no, they just give you the exact same card two times or three times. Uh, next up, we have Journey to Oblivion, which, like, of all the things I knock about these, like, that is the worst thing. Just that idea that they take something special, like, ooh, you got two uh, showcase cards instead of one, and make it somehow the most dull and boring thing in the entire pack. It's amazing. Anyways, Core Blade Master. Which I do not uh, core Blade Master, two mana creature core warrior, one one, double strike. Equipped warriors you control have double strike. Every core blade is imbued with the skill of a thousand generations. All right. Next up, we have another mace. Mesa Lynx. Um, yeah, like I said earlier, you can get multiple copies of the same card in these packs. It's not just the showcase cards, but... Considering there are 35 cards in these pack and there's only 44 unique cards and white cards in the entire set, it's kind of expected. Uh, Smite the Monstrous. Again, it's annoying that these two cards are switched to me, but eh. Yeah, I'll go through and sort those at the end again as well. Next up, we have Core Celebrant. So, Core Celebrant, 3 mana, creature, Core Cleric, 1-4. Whenever Core Celebrant or another creature enters the battlefield under your control, you gain 1 life. The Landbind Ritual connects us to our sacred sites. More importantly, it binds us to every other Core who has visited here through countless generations. 22. Alright. Next up we have McKindy Ox. Sorry, I just thought. So part of the reason probably why they took out the duplicates, which this is a really stupid reason, but is that idea that you can just add 25 lands to this and have a playable deck. Um, if they have double cards in here, then they would have to add double blank cards as well, because otherwise it wouldn't be a playable deck. So. That may be their justification for why they took all of those out, but Skyclave Sentinel. 
it doesn't feel like a great excuse. Another core celebrant. Pressure point. Another journey to oblivion. Uh, another dauntless unity. I will say though, these are great for if you want to just fill out a pack. Like Part of the reason why I don't mind opening these up around right about now is because they typically do fill up all of the commons and all, quite about all of the commons and quite a bit of the uncommons as well. Uh, 229 Marasa Root Grazer. Marasa Root Grazer, uh, green white, two mana, creature beast, two three, vigilance, tap, you may put a basic land card from your hand onto the battlefield, tap, return target basic land you control to its owner's hand. Few other creatures so closely embody Marasa's rapid cycles of growth. So if you don't have a land to play, you can use this to bounce one back, play a land, and then get all of the landfall bonuses. That's quite a powerful card, not because it's actually powerful, but because of what it allows you to do. If you want to build a deck that way. Um, hmm. Thought I might have an alternate art for that. But no, uh, Disenchant. Yeah, so this... I mentioned last time that I thought this was a um, card that had been around for ages, and yeah. Um, last printing was Core 2020, and then before that it looks like Tempest, but outside of like the Masters and Iconic Masters and all of that, but yeah, this is a card that has been around since like Alpha or Beta. Disenchant. It just hasn't been printed in like two decades. Just which um, or it has it hasn't had a new print in a major set in two decades. I actually might have the Tempest version of this, and I'm might have both the Ice Age and the. Uh, I might have multiple copies of that from back, way back when it was actually printed. Anyways, um, next up we have Allied Assault, which this is the first card of the set. Allied 
Allied Assault, 3 mana, instant. Up to 2 target creatures each get plus X plus X until end of turn, where X is the number of creatures in your party. A common foe is the death of old hatreds. Oh, okay. So they used to hate each other, but then they allied against the common foe, and that was the, um, so the old hatred they had died at, because of the common foe. Alright, next up we have Emeria Captain, which is right there, and I obviously do not have. Emeria Captain, 4 mana, creature, angel warrior, 1-1, one, one. flying, vigilance, when Emeria Captain enters the battlefield, put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on it for each creature in your party. The gifts of the past must find their way into deserving hands. Next up we have Cliffhaven Cell Sword. Um, next up we have Kabira Outrider. Um, Then we have Kite Sail Cleric. Farsight Adept, which we have right there. Another Kabira Outrider. Oh, so I told you guys that I set up the uh, my mouse to have both, uh, so I can click and have it put uh, foil and one. I didn't a lot. I didn't set it up to have twos or threes in it, which is why whenever we get a duplicate in a pack, I'm going to have to reach over and actually press keys on the keyboard. Uh, 35, Resolute Strike. Resolute Strike, 1 mana, instant. Target creature gets plus 2, plus 2 until end of turn. If it's a warrior, you may attach an equipment you control to it. If you practice something often enough, it becomes part of you. That's why we train, and that's why we survive. Tasha, Grey Pelt Veteran. And hey, we have a complete page. Uh, next up, we have another practice tactics. On this page, we have one rare and one uncommon, which makes it an easy page to complete. Uh, Farsight Adept. Cliffhaven 
Cliffhaven so sword. Another resolute strike. Another core blade master. So there are um, some sets where the theme boosters, like you can get quite a bit of unique cards, but then there are other packages where you'll get basically the same cards and lots of multiples of the same cards. And this is looking like one of those where we're getting multiple lots of multiples of basically the same cards. Uh, Shepherd of Heroes. Um, yeah, I think that with the removal of the double-sided cards from the uh, potential draw pool, that really hurts these Shepherd of Heroes. And I wouldn't be surprised if excluding the rares, we get basically every possible rare card or every possible card we can get from just opening these two packs. Squad Commander, that is the rare for this pack, which is unfortunate because that's the third pack in a row that I've gotten this exact rare. Yep, I have three copies of this card, and they came in the last three packs that I opened, which is amazing. Um, and then we've got an ad card, or no, this isn't an ad card. This is uh, one of those info cards. So. I'm just going to save these like this, or at least this one, and yep. It has rules on one side, but then this one just has an advert on the other. So, yep, so that should be... I'm going to have to go back and count just because I technically think I may be missing one card. Um, yeah, so common, 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 common. I'm a chameleon. So I know that a lot of the uncommons got absorbed into the pack, but we've got five uncommons, one rare, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So twenty-six cards accounted for, so nine new ones. Um, not great.
we also got two artifacts and one multicolored. So, yep. Um, yeah, so let me take this for this. Okay. Um, Clear Outrider, Kite Sail Cleric, Core Blade Master, the other Core Celebrant, Kindy Ox. Uh, Mesa Lynx. Oh, I forgot Journey into Oblivion. So, Mesa Lynx. Here he's binding. Um, practice Tacticians. Or Practice Tactics. Uh, pressure point, resolute strike, shepherd of heroes, squad commander, smite the monstrous, relic golem, then sky sentinel. Oh, I bet I know what I did. Yeah, so I drew two. Of Prowling Felidors instead of one, but I only marked it as one. So that was the mistake I made. So, yep, that was a simple fix. So, two more artifacts, and then a whole boatload of white cards to just. Good enough. Oh yeah, and this gets tossed into there. All right. So, um, yeah, that was a look at the first white pack, a white theme booster that we got. Um, so far, as of now, we're only missing 16 more uncommons or 16 more comments and we have over half of the uncommons. We went from I think 22 unique white cards to 31 unique white cards at this point. So 31 out of 44, we're not quite over two thirds of them, or we're not quite at three quarters of them, but yeah, we're getting pretty close. Um, yeah, so for the rest of the week, we'll be continuing this. Um, specifically tomorrow with a blue theme booster and moving on from there um, yeah this has been zigzag thank you for joining me today bye